This is Andy Porowal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to be joined by the IBF World Super Middleweight Champion Caleb Plant out here in Miami. Caleb, how are you doing? Doing well, doing well. Just, you know, down here for the festivities. Obviously, let's get straight into it. Mayweather, Logan Paul, obviously to the boxing hardcore. Um, they may not look kindly on this fight, but certainly, as it's been spoken about, it's entertainment. What's your take on it, Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul? Um, it's entertainment. You know, like you said, um, um, and like Floyd said, he, he's retired from boxing, but he hasn't retired from entertaining people, and he's definitely not retired from making money. And, you know, uh, I think that's fair. You know, that's an honest answer, and that's a, that's a fair answer. And, um, you know, but Floyd, he's been boxing his whole life. This is probably, you know, what he knows best. That's what he's been doing his whole life. So why can't he continue, continue to do it in a way that uh, where he can still entertain people, like he said, and still, you know, make that money? Floyd, obviously, is one of those fighters who's generally considered to be one of the greatest of our generation. Does it surprise you at all that with these crossover bouts, he still attracts such an audience, it still attracts such huge attention? No, no, not at all. I mean... Um, it's Floyd Mayweather, you know, I feel like he has nothing left to prove in the sport of boxing. He's beat more world champions than anybody else. And, um, you know, back in the day, you know, Muhammad Ali, he had a handful of exhibitions against wrestlers and things of that nature. So if Muhammad Ali can do it, why can't Floyd do it? Or why can't anybody else who, you know, can work themselves in that position? Why can't they do it? So I have no, no issues or no qualms with it. So what are you expecting from tomorrow night, Caleb? We've got 10-ounce gloves. There's no official judging, so if it was to go the full eight rounds, uh, I don't think a winner would end up being announced. What are your thoughts on it? What are you, what are you expecting from it? I think, uh, I think Floyd's going to stop him. I think, uh, you know, they don't want to... They're not going to announce a winner, so I think Floyd's going to announce the winner for him. So that's my prediction. These crossover bouts are becoming more frequent. Obviously, Logan's brother, Jake, is going to be facing Tyron Woodley from the UFC. Just your thoughts on that one as well? I mean, you know, that's what they want to do. Then, you know, let them have that. So. Would you ever entertain something like this further down the line, obviously, in your career, but when either you're looking at leaving the sport from the professional ranks, would you entertain these types of fights which Floyd's entertaining now? Uh, right now, I'm not really focused on that. You know, I, I, got, um, I got things I'm focused on, things I want to accomplish in the sport, and right now I'm just focused on that. So. Let's touch on the one big thing which I know you're focused on, the Sal Canelo Alvarez fight, the undisputed fight. Since we last spoke a couple of weeks ago, Caleb, I believe you know everybody was saying back then, talks will begin soon and shortly have you got any update as to where things currently stand uh yeah like i said here soon you know our teams are going to sit down and um try and get everything worked out and uh, i'm sure it'll happen so how confident are you caleb that the fight does get over the line and you two do face off in september i mean i'm confident like i said um there's a lot that goes into uh making a mega fight like this but i'm confident both parties that you know we can sit down and uh get it worked out so Fight of such magnitude, an undisputed bout, Caleb. What would it mean for yourself to not just take part in it, but to stand stand a chance on creating glory and history for yourself? I mean, it means everything. You know, this is what I've uh, worked my whole life for, and you know, anybody who laces up a pair of boxing gloves and takes it, you know, halfway serious, that's one of their goals: is not just to become a world champion, but to uh, you know, become undisputed and uh, you know, make that pound for pound list. So that's what I'm shooting for. That's what I want. I know you've been around and with the media a bit more than what Saul has, but has it surprised you at all that maybe he hasn't been as vocal about this fight with the media so far? I could really care less what he's got going on or what he's saying, you know. So. <laughs> One thing that people have spoken about is the purses for this fight, what you'd be rumoured to want, what Canelo would be rumoured to want. Have you got any kind of worries that you may end up... not? pricing yourself out but there might be some discrepancies there some and they may not be happy with what you want from me I mean you know I think uh, I've said this before I think the media runs off with headlines and makes their own you know makes their own you know you know you know how it goes yeah 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 so uh, but I'm confident that we can make it happen like I said so um, I don't have no worries I'm in a great spot I'm in a great position um, the undisputed fight is what we want and that's what we're gunning for. But there's also a lot of other great fights out there that I can make. So, uh, you know, like I said, here soon we'll sit down. I'm sure we can make it happen. I just want to get your thoughts on a couple of other things before I leave you um, to enjoy the rest of your day. Pacquiao Spence was announced out of the blue um, whilst I was still in Vegas about a week ago now. Just your thoughts on that one lock, I say, came out of nowhere. But what do you expect from it? Um, I'm, ex I'm expecting uh, Errol to go in there and do his thing. You know, I'm a big fan of Errol. 
Um, we've been cool for quite a long time. We went to London together. We went to the Olympics together. So, uh, you know, Errol, I just feel like he, he's unbeatable. You know, after coming out back from his car crash and, you know, performing the way he did, I feel like uh, you can expect even in a, a better version of, of Errol coming to Manny Pacquiao fight. And as we did speak about when we were, was in Vegas at the gym, uh, Walder won his arbitration case for the Tyson Fury rematch. Walder Fury free set now. Just your thoughts on it this time around. Do you expect anything different from either of them or from the fight, from an outcome perspective? Yeah, I mean, anything can happen in that fight. You know, either one of them could get knocked out. Uh, so I think that's a great fight for boxing. And, um, you know, it gets you one step closer to the, uh, <clears throat> the undisputed fight. Um, if Usyk and uh, Joshua fight, so it's like a little tournament. So, you know, it's still great for boxing. It's a great fight, and um, I'm excited. Okay, the final one, just for your fans around the world, as I always like to do, just what would you like to say to them? I just uh, really appreciate you guys. Stay tuned in, stay locked in with me, and, uh, you know, there's big things on the horizon. So, Caleb, thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Thank you.